Hey, uh, also, back in Rocky, it's fabulous for me to come back here because it was really where I started out uh, my career at uh, Wind Television. 20 years ago. <laughs> and I took a trip down memory lane yesterday afternoon. Check it out. So this is where it all began for me 20 years ago here in Rockhampton, the beef capital of the world. Well, at least Australia anyway. It was my first job out of uni, a cadetship with Win TV. I remember one of the first big stories was a certain part of the bull's anatomy was being stolen by university students. I, of course, had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Good evening and a perfect way to end the working week today with great conditions right across the region. It was a bit of a lad. Carl, of course, uh, would uh, pull on as many pranks as he possibly could in the background. There was never a dull moment. You never knew when you were going to cop a, a side swipe from him. Get up! Get up! And perfect winter weather for a bit of a shag. Well, on the weekends, it's a matter of just getting out there, getting out and about and spreading yourself around. It'll probably surprise no one, but this was my favourite part of Rockhampton. The Criterion Hotel, a pub almost as old as Rocky itself, would gather here on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, <clears throat> occasionally Monday and Tuesday nights and chew the fat about life in general. Great to see you Ron. Thank you buddy. It really was a great time. And this behind me was my humble little house. $55 a week and I lived with Chrissy Hyde from the ABC. We had a wonderful time. It wasn't until I met my wife Cass just around the corner. She lived on the hill. She caught lots of breezes and she was also on double my money. The princely sum of $32,000 a year. And well, I just had to get myself a sugar mama. There's certainly a lot of people that would like to taste my fruit, but uh, unfortunately I'm a, uh, I'm a fruitless man at the moment because I'm, uh, I'm attached like a grapefruit to a grapevine. It's good to see that he's done so well. You don't expect that someone's heading off into a, a direction that, that Carl has done, and uh, it's good to see he's got to where he's got these days in television. While Mr Perry resents the comparison to food outlets, he says there are some funeral parlours who are primitive in their treatment of the deceased. Carl Stefanovic. Win News. Oh, yeah. what a little cutie you were. Yeah, that was that? me before the pies. <laughs> I tell you what, Jacko doesn't fall far from the tree. No, no, there's no escaping your DNA, buddy. <laughs> yeah.